everybody. I just thought I'd bring you this week a video to practice getting up and down off the floor. So I know all of you um, might not uh, do that and not do it in your regular practice, might not be able to do it, but I know a lot of you would like to be able to do it and like to feel a little more comfortable with it. So the, this can help you build strength to do it. Um, if you just do the beginning part and or to just get comfortable with the sequence of going to the floor to one side and coming back up and uh, hopefully build, as I say, confidence in that. So for this, you'd need a um, pillow for under your knees that's small, um, right? Because you will be, you will need to have to put your foot uh, over it. Um, a chair or two chairs. So I'm using a chair in the wall. You could use a chair in the wall set up in this way. Uh, my chair's about a foot away from the wall. Pillows in between. Um, or you could have, as I said, two chairs facing back, uh, back to back here. Also, um, when we uh, are gonna try anything like this, it's best to warm up our ankles, our knees, right? Our wrists. Um, to be able to uh, to have more flexibility when doing this because it takes a lot of flexibility right in your ankles, your feet, your knees, your hands, um, hands and wrist. So maybe doing one of the other videos first where you, we warm up all our joints, our wrists, our fingers, our knees, right? Um, our feet by lifting up and down your heels, right? Or holding on, circling your ankle, foot around. Right, so maybe try one of those other uh, warm up videos first, or at least take a few minutes to, to uh, warm up your joints. And then we're going to come um, in between the chair and wall of our two chairs. The chair is here just to guide you, but not to actually pull on, right? So um, we're going to st uh, stand in between our chair and our pillow. So again, our pillow is a little back because that's where our knees are going to go. Um, and we're going to take this in, st in steps, right? So first, we're just going to take our one foot back, right? Ball the foot. And we try and have a pretty big wide stance here. And then we're going to lower that knee down to the floor, right? So com coming to this could be just as far as you practice if you want to, tucking that knee coming back up and bringing the foot back in. Or we could take it another step further right? Stretching back, lowering the knee down, unfurl your toes, two knees down, right? So we could practice just those two steps. Tuck the toe, push up, stand back again. Again, stretching back, lower down, yeah? Undo your toes, bring the opposite knee in. Stepping back, tuck the toes, stretch back up again, bring the foot back in, right? We could try that on the other side. Again, I'm not using the chair, I'm just resting my hands, resting my hand there, right? So to step back over your pillow, see where it is, lower the knee down, right? Just that much, maybe pushing off bringing it back in, making sure you, you look out, right? So we don't want our, our focus to be too down, right? Lift, lower the knee down, push off to come up or add that third step, lift, lower the knee down, bring both knees, yeah, and then come back. Oops, I just did the opposite foot. <laughs> yeah, coming back. So I could lift, bring it back. One side is always uh, usually stronger than the other. So it's helpful to do both sides, right? To build that strength equally as equally as you can on both sides. So to take it a step further, actually going to the floor, um, once we've built a little strength and flexibility here, right? We're going to step back. Lower the knee down, right under your toes. Come back to your two knees, right? Once you're on your two knees, 
come to all fours with your hands out in front of you. So you want, you don't want these hands really close. You want them a little bit further away from you. And we're gonna lean our hips over to one side, right? Bring our hand out, let our hips and our hand go. So here we are on our side. That is can be tricky right there, right? And here, here this part, again, lifting the hips, the most challenging part really for most people. You're gonna bring your hands back underneath you so you can feel pushing away from the ground. And use imagery, like imagine there's something under your hip that you, you don't want your hip there. You want, you want to get that hip off. So think, ah, like get it right up. Lifting the hip right up, walk the hands back. So now we just reverse. Here we are on the all fours, right? <clears throat> Maybe you use this edge of the chair to come up or just bring yourself up to your knees. See if you can bring that foot forward again, right? Tuck your toe. Push up, come back. Yeah, and repeat it again on that side. So we step back, lower the knee down, right? Undo your toes, come to two knees. Be nice and tall here. Bend the knees, bring the hands down. And again, remember, get them a little bit away from you first. Reach your one hand to the side you're gonna go. Yeah, and allow your hips to drop down gently. Once you're here, again, you can bring these hands a little closer to your body so you can push, push away from the floor. And imagine, right, you, you, there's something hot, the floor is hot under your hip. You really wanna get those hips up. Push off, come back to your all fours here. Pause maybe, right, bring your foot forward, whoops. Yeah, or come upright, sorry, <laughs> bring that foot forward. Yeah, tuck the toes, lift up, bring the foot in. All right, so that's your one side. Maybe you, <laughs> maybe you wanna just practice your one side and that's enough, you're tired, or try and practice that other side, which again, we lift the foot, stretch it back, lower the knee down. Under your toes, come to your two knees, <clears throat> right? Bring your hands down in front, further away. Reach to the side, you're gonna let those hips drop. So reach out and then lower the hips gently down. Pause here, bring the hands closer to you, right? So that you can push off and imagine that floor is hot under your hip. You wanna lift it up by pushing, walk the hands back to your all four, come up, right, to your knees, bring your leg forward, right, tuck your toe, push up, push off the foot, come back in, we try it one more time, right, pausing, breathing in between, <laughs> giving yourself a pat on the back for a great job, try it again, stepping back, Lower the knee down, come to your knees, release your hands down. Make sure you walk them out a little, so all fours. Reach out to the side, you're gonna let those hips slowly lower down. Yeah, pause there for a minute, get the hands close to you so you can push. And imagine that hot floor underneath you. Oh, you want to lift that hip off of there. Walk the hands back, back to your knees. Maybe using the chair, right, again. Bring your foot forward, tuck your toes, push into the ground. Yeah, I think you're raising up. Weight into the back foot, bring the foot forward. Awesome, so that was, um, that's your sequence for practicing up and down off the floor or just doing the beginning part to build strength again in your thighs and flexibility by lowering down right or lowering down and bringing both knees also great balance exercise there right so yeah take it how how you how you need to 
practice that set, right? So either break it in parts and just do the beginning or try the whole sequence one side practicing or the both, right? Whatever feels right to you. Hope you have a great week and don't forget to warm up before you try that. All right, see you soon.